Self-publishing a book online can be so overwhelming at times, but we're going to be talking more about self-publishing books. In fact, this is the 16th episode in a row where we have discussed numerous avenues. And one of these avenues is an aggregate publisher known as Shinshi Publishing. Never heard of Shinshi? Well, you're going to want to make sure that you stay tuned to today's podcast. What's happening? I am just absolutely tickled to death that you took a little bit of time out your day to spend a little bit of time with me to talk about one of my favorite things in self-publishing books. And, you know, we've been talking about it. We're going on 16 weeks straight of discussing all the different avenues. And rest assured, we're not quite done, but this is probably going to be one of the last of this type of publishing that we're going to talk about. We're going to switch over into aggregate publishing and audiobook publishing, more importantly, in the coming weeks. So let's focus on this last option. Now, this is not to say that I've exhausted every avenue. I've just hit all the major avenues, some of the areas that people have asked me about. The thing with self-publishing a book on, online is it can be overwhelming. It can seem like, oh my gosh, there's Amazon, there's Apple, there's Barnes & Noble, there's Kobo, there's Rakuten's, uh, Rakuten's Kobo, I said it twice just because it's twice as nice. There's Smashwords, there's Draft Digital, there's Publish Drive. Oh my gosh. Well, I thought, what better way to break it all down than just do an entire podcast series about this? So in any event, um, we're going to be discussing an aggregate publisher. An aggregate publisher works like this. You upload your content to their platform and they feed it out to numerous avenues on your behalf. Typically, typically, an aggregate publisher takes a percentage of the net profits that come in from the different areas. Okay, not too bad. There's other ones like Publish Drive that charge a fee, a subscription fee, to do it. Shinshi's not so much like that, but I'm gonna put a little bit of an asterisk next to this. So we're gonna be talking about Shinshi. Full disclosure, I'm just curating information here. I've never used them. In fact, today, I actually started breaking ground and started uploading an audiobook because I'm really curious. They have some avenues I don't see available through other areas like ACX or Find Away Voices or Publish Drive. So I said, let's go ahead and give this a shot. There's a little bit of an ambiguity about it, though, and I, I'm going to discuss it here. I want to get too far ahead of myself. So, Shenxi is the name of the company. It's spelled X-I-N-X-I-I. -I, -I. I had to look it up. Yes, it is pronounced Shenxi. I actually found a video of someone saying it that actually is from the company, Shenxi. It's a European-based company. And I always try to cross-check to see if they're legit, if any aggregate publisher is good. And the Alliance of Independent Authors is one of the best organizations to cross-check any kind of services for self-publishers they have something that's called the watchdog service. And on that watchdog service, they fully vet companies. And they don't mince words. If there's something a little bit askew, a little bit off, they're not going to recommend it. They'll probably put a caution rating or even avoid it altogether. With Shinshi, though, it gets a recommended rating. Now, that is like the top award. You know, there is excellent partner, but... Shin Shi is not a partner. They're just recommended. So it's without that partner relationship that they have the recommendation. So that speaks volumes ahead of time. Keep in mind, Ally, the Alliance of Independent Authors, is run by any authors for any authors. There's not somebody getting their, you know, palms greased saying, well, you know, if you give us good words, we'll, we'll go ahead and pay you a little extra something. No, it doesn't work that way. So in any event, they distribute ebooks and audiobooks, but no print books. Okay, so if you're looking for another print-on-demand avenue, Shinshi is not it. I tried to do some digging to see if that was something that was coming anytime soon, but I didn't find anything about it. Let's start out with ebooks. They accept files. Oh my gosh, like I think 30 different file types. I will mention these ones real briefly here. Doc, EPUB, PDF, text, PowerPoint, what? Yeah, they accept PowerPoint. Excel, yeah, they accept Excel sp spreadsheets. What? PostScript, and so many more. There's no minimum requirement or maximum threshold. Now, I'm gonna have a little bit of an asterisk here because I saw they said there's no minimum requirement, 
no minimum amount of pages, technically, there is. There is. And, and let's not get too far ahead ourselves here. Distribution goes out to Amazon, the Apple Bookstore, Barnes & Noble, Google, Kobo, uh, Scribd. They have 27 avenues in total plus the Shinshi author page. Now, Shinshi author page is essentially a way that you can distribute through the Shinshi platform. And because it's an aggregate publisher, you'll be going to the various avenues. Let's say you're distributing an ebook over to Amazon. Everybody knows that if you have your book price between $2.99 and $9.99, it's 70% through Amazon KDP. Well, then you get a middleman in there that's distributing it on your behalf. Well, then you're taking 70% of the retail. It comes and filters through Shenxi. Shenxi then takes 30% of that net profit and gives you 70% of what's left over. Okay, it's not bad. I'm gonna say this, that it's a little steep compared to other aggregate publishers, in my opinion. They feel really highly about that specific model. If you look at someone like, say, Smashwords or Draft Digital, they're only taking 15%. So it's twice as much to go through Shenxi. They've got some unique avenues. That's the part I applaud them on. Some avenues that Smashwords or Draft to Digital don't have. So there is that plus. Not to mention the fact that you can get your own author page you can sell through on Shenxi and you get 70%. There's no middleman because it's going right there. Okay, not bad. All right. They do free ebook conversion to EPUB or Mobi. Now keep in mind, Mobi is a file that's used on essentially Amazon only. Everywhere else, it's not really used. EPUB is generally the gold standard for eBooks. Again, there's a bit of an asterisk and a little bit of ambiguity when it comes to this whole free conversion. I say that in quotation marks here for good reason. So let's talk about the 70% model. You get the 70%, all right, if, now I'm gonna say things in euros now because it is a European-based company. If your pricing is greater than 294 euros, so essentially three euros, as long as it's greater than three euros, it'll be 70%. If it, however, is lower than that, being 99 to a buck 98 euros, I'm not sure how that's uh, stated, then it's 40%. So you see there's a significant drop then when you they incentivize you to price your ebook greater than 294. Uh, so the ISBN prov is provided through Shinshi. The, um, they actually have something that's called a power package. The power package is pretty interesting and we're gonna discuss in just a second. You don't need an ISBN on your ebook on every avenue. So places like Amazon and Barnes and Noble, no ISBNs required, but there are other platforms and quite a majority of those ones I'd mentioned to you, the 27 avenues that do require the ISBN. And guess what? That ISBN is not free. So, so you know that in advance, it's not free. Let's transition over to audiobooks and I had to dig and dig and dig and dig and I went through every little path I could and I kept running into 404 um, landing pages, like essentially like I was getting a lot of just dead ends when it comes to their audiobooks. They have 24 distributors and retailers, so that's cool. You're able to upload MP3 files. They have essentially the same specs that you would for any time you're distributing audiobook creation exchange or through Publish Drive or through Find Away Voice, the same quality. Uh, there is not a marketplace that you're able to pick up narrators, so you need to come in with your own content. So that's pretty good for me because I'm going to be able to go ahead and distribute there. Now, it all ends there. I don't have any more information. It, it got into a dead end, and I should have probably reached out to support, but I thought, you know what? I want to give everybody an honest overview of everything, and if I've got to dig and find information, then Shen Shi, you need to get on top of things and make this stuff publicly available and easily accessible. From what I can tell, it's 70% of net profits. If that's the case, not bad. Because if you look at an aggregate audiobook publisher and find away voices, they do 80%. 
okay? You get 70% on this one. It's a little less. Okay, cool. I'll go with it. Now, the distributors, quite a few of them, you can get through numerous other avenues. It's not very clear, though, if I can deselect any of those. Can I remove them? I don't know. I'm partway through uploading, and hopefully I'll learn in due time what it's going to be. But for now, it's kind of a question mark above my head. I'm not really sure. Let's go ahead and transition to what they call their publishing packages. They say numerous times on their website, it's free. It's free, it's free, it's free, it's free, it's free. Except. Except one, two, two exceptions. Okay, just two. The basic package is free. You can publish in real time. You get a personal author page, get detailed sales reporting, and you have full service. So in other words, they're willing to work with you. And you get to distribute audiobooks too. Not bad. All right, now let's look at the plus package. I'm sure that you're starting to kind of sense where I'm going with this because the plus package runs about 10 euros, okay, 9.99 to be exact. You can do fiction eBooks with a minimum of 10 pages and no poems. That's 100% free, okay, for the plus package. But if you're nonfiction, that's gonna cost you. I don't understand why nonfiction has to pay and fiction doesn't. Does not make sense to me. Uh, same thing, no poems. Like, what, what, okay. So nonfiction's 9.99 euros. You get everything from the basic package. You get, High quality EPUB format conversion by their team. Oh, wait, hang on. I assumed, and maybe that's wrong for me to assume because we know what that does. I assumed when you said free ebook conversion to EPUB or Mobi that that would include my nonfiction book. Apparently not. So it only includes fiction books. Okay, all right. A little kind of confused about this. You get global distribution as well. So in the free version, the basic package, if you're a nonfiction writer, you get only a fraction of the distribution that they offer. If you want the full distribution as a nonfiction author, you're gonna have to pony up the expense of $9.99. Seems like it's a one-time fee. That's kind of a nice thing. Seems. I couldn't find out if it was monthly. I couldn't find out if it was like you pay for it anytime you do an update or an up. It, there's nothing that's very clear about this. They do not offer the audiobooks at the $9.99 price point. Regardless of fiction or nonfiction, audiobooks in the plus package run about 30 euros. That's $29.99. And that roughly comes out to about $33.85 USD. All right. Yeah, I hope that's just a one-time fee. So if you want to get that extra distribution for audiobooks, you're going to have to pony up the extra 30 euros. And then the lastly is the power package. It's essentially all of basic and plus features. And same requirements, but essentially what they have is an ISBN there. And that runs... Ooh, my apologies. I, I think it was... 1999 it might have been um it, it wasn't too much more expensive to my recollection um i usually have this inside my notes but this time i didn't have it audiobooks for some reason it's still just 30 euros okay cool payments how do they pay you okay so we've got an understanding of how much you're going to get from audiobooks and ebooks they're going to pay you through paypal or bank transfer you need a minimum of 20 euros inside your account before they'll pay you out, which roughly comes out to about $27 US or 17 pounds Great Britain. There is no tax ID necessary. That's kind of weird. No tax ID whatsoever. Okay, cool. I'll go with that. They will pay you at the end of the following month after you request it. So apparently, if you're making earnings and you want that money, you got to ask for it. Why don't you just pay me? How about when it gets past that threshold? Why don't you just give me the money? So I'm not really sure why you've got a request. 
All right, I'm going to weigh in on Shen Shi, and I think everybody can kind of see the direction that I'm going in, but believe it or not, I'm going to kind of surprise you here with my take on things. But I just want to mention real quick, and of course, as I've been doing for the past few months, I've been just imploring with you to hear me out on this. It's my mission to positively impact over 100,000 authors and self-publishers, whether that's educating you, getting you to learn keywords, increasing your income, or even being an inspiration or motivation to you. If you've been positively impacted, then it would just be of great service. and be an awesome favor if you just go on over and hit subscribe on my YouTube channel, dalelinks.com slash YouTube. Once I hit that 100,000, that will indicate to me that I've met my goal, but I won't really know that unless you go over there and subscribe today. So head on over to dalelinks.com slash YouTube and subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss a single one of the videos there as well because we've got some really good stuff on the horizon on that channel. All right, so is Shin Shi worth it? There's many pros about it. I really like the fact it has some avenues I have not heard of before and I'm willing to try it out. It's got a clean layout, nice clean site. My issue is they've got many dead links leading to an information page not found. This happened a lot. And I thought for a second, well, maybe it's just my browser. And I would just copy the link and I'd go over and I'd try it again. No, these are dead links. So this site's been up for quite a few years now. So it's kind of surprising that they've got a lot of dead links. There's too many contradictions as well. Is it free? Is it paid? Because they keep leaning on this whole, well, you can publish for free. No, no, I'm a nonfiction author. You're telling me I've got to spend $9.99 or $19.99 to get distribution through your various packages. That's okay, but you can't come in outright and say that we only do free. Or be ambiguous and go, well, we do free. <coughs> and cough off to the side, like, okay, what was that cough for? Oh, well, we've got publishing packages. You know, like, yeah, if you want the other, if you want everything, you're going to have to pay. If that's really what it comes down to. I think they need to be very clear. So this is where I weigh in on it. Shen Shi seems very exciting, seems very interesting, and just the fact that Ally has put a recommendation on him makes me cautiously optimistic. I believe I'm optimistic because Ally is there. I'm cautious because there's just too many red flags to me that says, I might want to kind of tread carefully over into this direction. And I will be treading carefully. I'm gonna be uploading my latest book, Amazon Keywords for Books. I'm gonna do the audiobook there as soon as I'm done recording this podcast. And I will report back to you any kind of information that I find out about Shen Shi and seeing how this whole thing went. What do you think about Shen Shi? Is that something that you'd be worth considering? I definitely would love to hear from you. In the meantime here, folks, subscribe or follow me on your preferred podcasting platform and leave a review. Or if you're watching on YouTube, you can always leave a comment there. I always love to hear from you. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale, and I will chat with you uh, next week.